What's going on, everybody? It's your pal Burrito Johnson. Um, coming at you kind of with a new segment. Um, typically, I'll sit in front of the camera um, by my computer and just kind of do a review of a movie or whatever. Uh, kind of want to start a new segment. Maybe I'll do this. Let me try to, I'm trying to showcase my films, uh, my collection, I guess that I that I have um, I kind of wanted to try something new maybe do like a bi-weekly or maybe every other maybe every week um, I'm gonna call it burritos corner R original name very original um, I'm gonna sit here maybe 10 spend 10 minutes maybe more who knows um, just talking about something specific Maybe I'll do movie reviews. Maybe I'll talk about something, a series. Um, hell, we got, we talk about my Arrow collection that it's kind of slowly, basically taken over a whole uh, shelf in my ever-expanding uh, bookshelf or whatever. Basically got Arrows and then at the very end I got my little anime. That's slowly, slowly growing Right above, I got, uh, as you can see, I got Twin Peaks. I got a whole shelf. You probably can't see that high, but I'll probably display that at some point. And if you go even higher, is where I got my, I got some Screen Factories and I got a bunch of uh, Criterion movies, which that's the one thing that I primarily started collecting from um, from Barnes and Nobles. As you can, as you can tell from my last video, my hair uh, decided to escape uh, from my head. Something I do at least once or uh, once or twice a year. I just completely shave it off, start fresh. Thankfully, I'm not too bald yet. Um, what I wanted to talk about, um, I, I keep looking at my watch because that's basically my framing. I don't, I, 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 I can't really jump in front and back of the, of the phone. You know, my my iPhone that I film on. I don't have, I don't have any of that fancy equipment. I basically have like a seven dollar lapel mic that I've I have connected to my <laughs> shirt that runs to the phone. Um so you're not gonna find any find any of that fancy stuff here. Um so yeah, burritos corner. I, I figure maybe every every other week, maybe every week, I talk about something. It doesn't necessarily have to be movies, I could just maybe a subject, you know, director, favorite, you know, movie or whatever. Or showcases hey, this is uh you know, film series of, you know, director that's made some movies. I want to talk about it. I definitely got to do a more in-depth review or just kind of talking about David Lynch's work. As you can see, I have basically almost all his, well, I guess I have all his stuff that uh, Criterion has released. So I have, uh, well, Twin Peaks, A to Z or Z to A. And then I got, you know, all that stuff, Funko Pops. And uh, I don't even know if the camera goes that high. Um, but yeah, this week I wanted to talk about uh, criterion. Um, I'm at some point I'm going to do what I have so far. I'm going to bring it out, show it, but I kind of wanted to sh talk about what um, Barnes and Nobles ha ha has done um, throughout the years. Um, you could get a Barnes and Nobles membership, right? Where I think it's like thirty bucks a year, twenty-five bucks a year. I forgot the price. Um, you pay him. You pay him that money. Uh, for your yearly membership and you get a discount you get like a temperate was it a 10 percent discount on top of so basically you're saving in tax and i i just signed up for that earlier this year uh because i, I bought the ingman bergman box set that big old criterion box set and that's when it was at the 50 percent off which that's when you should be buying criterion movies never pay full price for a criterion movie unless you absolutely cannot help yourself. But then again, it's your money. You do whatever you want with it. But there's no reason for you to pay $200, $300, $400 for a box set when you could just wait a couple months when Criterion has those 50% off sale. They'll be available. I went to, I went to get the Ingman Bergman, Ingman, Ingman Bergman box set. And the guy was like, hey... Why don't you just sign up for the, you know, the Barnes and Nobles card or whatever? I'm like, I don't know. I don't, what do I get? It's like, well, you get an extra 10% off. 
plus you get an extra, uh, you, I guess using it for the first time, you get an extra 25% off or something like that, which in total pays off for the card plus gives you the discount for the box set. So I ended up spent, saving a bunch of money. So I, I came home with the box set plus a year of uh, the Barnes & Noble's membership. And I use it like crazy. Um, I was usually uh, using it mostly for box sets. I was saving 10%. Uh, it was, I was essentially saving 60%. And I, I, it was an awesome deal. You know, the, 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 this was during the summer when I basically got all the box sets that I wanted anyways and a bunch of Criterion movies. Um, the summer ends and then everybody's waiting for the, you know, uh, the sale that they had uh, a couple months back. Was it November? I think they had the sell. Their their November sell, December sell. I don't remember. Um, so pe people were excited because hey, we get fifty percent off plus you get your ten percent off membership. Uh, you know, for the Barnes and Noble Nobles membership. And then it started circling around in the Criterion groups or the movie boutique groups on Facebook and stuff like that. That um, they are going to no longer honor the extra ten percent off on the Barnes & Noble's membership for Criterion Movies. So essentially, um, th which th that's basically when 90% of the movie collectors get the, the membership for. Um, I guarantee you, like for me, there's nothing at Barnes, I don't go to Barnes & Noble's unless it's for a Criterion sale. So. Other than that, I don't even set foot in that store. Literally the only time I set, uh, I go into a Barnes & Noble's just to see what they have during the 50% off, and then I, I get out of there. So the only reason I have the membership is for the extra 10% off, because it saves me and it's well worth it at, in the long run. Uh, this year, we got wind of uh, saying, uh, we, we got wind uh, from from corporate or people taking screenshots or something like that who work at Barnes & Noble saying a uh, little fine print that 10% uh, will not be honored on Criterion, so it's going to be 50% only. Now, for me, for me, I'm a little conflicted, and I'll explain that here in a few minutes, but I want to talk about what I experienced the first day uh, of me going into a Barnes & Noble's, um, because I kind of knew it, and 50% off is still a good deal. 60% off is an even better deal, but I'm not one, you know, the rules are rules, 50% off is better than, you know, 100% off, obviously. So I grabbed some movies. I grabbed a, f a few movies the f day one, and the guy ahead of me grabbed a few movies, and we were standing in line. So they didn't honor, uh, as we all speculated, they didn't honor the 10% off. He got the 50% off, and he was mad. Now, he threw, he threw, a, he threw a fit, essentially. He threw a tantrum. He was yelling. Um, he wanted proof where it said it. The boss had to go back and get the actual the actual poster that's that says the fifty percent off, and then at the very bottom it says um, does not membership not included or something like that. So that guy was mad. He was throwing a fit. He wanted to talk to corporate, all that stuff, and the manager was getting mad as well. Like he was getting frustrated. He's like, "Nothing I could do about it. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna lose my job or whatever." And then. I went to another register with a young gentleman, um, and I was like, hey man, you know, you might want to, you know, maybe put a bigger advertisement or instead of a little tiny thing saying, you know, does not, does not, um, Barnes and Nobles does not honor the 10% off in this cell or will not honor it uh, in the future. Um, you just got to let us know. And the guy's like, you know, yeah, you're right. It did come out of, out of nowhere. And... I think because he felt bad, uh, he, he went ahead and honored 10% off the entire total. I was like, I, I told him, I, I told him straight up, no, 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 that's not, it's not necessary. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. He's like, no, I'll do it, man. Just this once, uh, don't, don't, don't say anything. Don't mention anything to my boss. I mean, so, I mean, I'm saying my experience, but I'm not going to mention what store or where I went to. Um, so he went, he, he gave me the 10% off. So, so basically, my one and only purchase that I made in store, I didn't go back because um, there was no point. Um, basically, my one, my one time I went to Barnes and Noble was during the last fifty percent off sale in November. Um, I got ten percent off. 
no matter what. Um, I don't think they'll honor that from now on, but here's my point. I, I'm probably going to cancel it because I went to Barnes and Nobles and then I basically bought the rest of my 50% off, uh, uh, Criterion movies on Amazon. See, Amazon tends to know when when Criterion or Barnes and Nobles is having the fifty percent off sale because basically almost all the Criterion movies went to to half off on Amazon. So as much as Amazon is a big evil corporation, there's no point of me going driving twenty five miles out of my way to a Barnes and Nobles, you know. 20, 30 miles away from me like I used to do, wasting gas and all that stuff when I could just get on the computer and just, you know, do it that way. It was, it was at my door a day later. I'm not even joking. I ordered, uh, I ordered like four or five on Amazon and they were there the next day and they were 50% off. Some of them were even cheaper. Um, some of, some of them were even offering like three dollars off coupons or whatever that randomly got applied automatically like i think hoop dreams and um what else did i get uh vampire and all that stuff they were like 17.99 so they're a couple bucks off you know because they technically what is it 20 19.99 for barnes and nobles or or 50 percent off anyways so that's what i wanted to discuss do you should i uh, should I still support Barnes and Nobles when the only reason for me to go in there is to get the, uh, it's, it's okay. To, it's good to go in there for the 50% off. Yeah, it's fine. But it's even better to go in there and you're more motivated to go in there for 60% off. Um, now with them eliminating the 10% off, is there still a, even a point of going in there or she just, you know, with the pandemic and everything going on, because you're typically the, the 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 cool thing about going Blu-ray hunting during the Criterion sale is you're basically going through everything. You're t you're touching everything. You're touching every movie. You're not doing it correctly. You're not you're not Criterion hunting correctly if you have if you don't touch every single movie to see what's behind. The bad thing about it is with everything going on, um, you're basically. You're touching whatever somebody else is touching because they're they're not going to go around and and clean in each individual uh, movie movie. So you're basically touching what I guarantee you four or five other people have touched. Um, so I think Amazon just came at the right time. They've done this for years. It's they've always matched up with the the, the fifty percent off sale. So that's why I thought that was kind of hilarious. So instead of having five people touch one movie at, at once before me, I had maybe one or two people you know the person grabs it thrown in the box and then ships it out and then the mailman or the amazon driver touches it so that's two people <laughs> that's my mentality um so i think that's just how i'm going to do it i'm going to cancel the subscription because there's no point of of me having it and I, a lot of people have already canceled it too they've already canceled it and some of me some of them even got refunds depending on how soon you've uh signed up so I'm not the only one and I know I try to avoid Amazon as much as possible, but you can't deny the convenience factor, uh, with, uh, you know, having something show up the next day, especially in times like this where you're not really supposed to be going out and touching a bunch of shit. Um, you know, so it's, in my opinion, it's a lot safer, it's more convenient and it's, it's cheaper. It's a few bucks cheaper. Now, I know that we should be supporting stores and small shops, but Barnes & Noble is it's not small. I mean, there's stores everywhere, so it's not like one of those little small mom-and-pop shops or whatever. So that's another thing. That's another way I, I feel about it. But I'm conflicted because I haven't canceled it yet. I'm going to cancel it most likely because there's no reason for me to keep it. I mean, I guess when the next 50% uh, uh, sale comes around, I'm basically paying a membership fee for something I'm not even going to use the benefits for. 
so most likely it's going to end up canceling. And it's sad because I was always excited to go Blu-ray hunting uh, during the Criterion sales because that's one of the most fun. That was, in my opinion, the more the best aspect of uh, the sale is actually going, hitting up as many Barnes and Nobles around your area as as, as possible. And trying to to see because you know obviously different Barnes and Nobles will carry different movies and have more in stock more than others uh, because buying a normal movie at Barnes and Nobles it's ridiculous even with the ten percent even with the ten percent off I'm not going to go in there and pay forty dollars for a, a, a movie that I could get on Amazon for half that rate the the the, the price at Barnes and Nobles on their their normal media it's 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 ridiculous. And that's why I don't feel bad. That's another reason I don't feel bad at the, about this because they price gouge the heck out of that, that some of this stuff, stuff that you could just go to your local Walmart and get for much cheaper. They sell sometimes twice the amount, three times the amount. Like a typical uh, TV series. Uh, I wish I forgot. It was like uh, it was like something. It was a, it was a TV series I saw. And it was like six seventy dollars for one season. And I'm like, okay. And I remember seeing it at Walmart for maybe twenty bucks or something like twenty five or something thirty maybe. Uh, and I was like, I, this is ridiculous how much they price guy gouge uh, people. And I the sad thing about it is people, I see people going in and buying stuff. They'll drop a bunch of money on on overpriced products. That's another way. That's another reason I don't feel too bad about it. But yeah. Um, this is my corner. I'm calling it Burritos Corner. I call it my corner, obviously, because I got, you know, this is my happy place. I sometimes chill here and I just kind of go through some movies, um, go through them, reorganizing them. Uh, as you can see, my Arrow collection's back there. Um, I got some Funko Pops. I don't know if the camera's pointing that high or not, but yeah. I just want to kind of talk about Barnes & Nobles, because especially buying Criterion movies there. Uh, and I want to know what you feel about uh, how you think. What do you think about it? Uh, are you going to keep the membership if you only have the membership for uh, buying Criterion movies, or you think it's dumb for me to cancel it, um, even though I don't use it? I'm probably going to cancel it no matter what. Um, all right, guys, that's been Burritos Corner. Um, I'll probably bring. You'll probably see me wearing the same shirt again. I'll probably be talking about something else. It's, uh, I'll bank a couple episodes for for the for the next couple weeks. All right, guys, uh, I'll see you next time in the next uh, Burrito Corner. You guys take it easy.